Thank you, Nduka. My, my governor of Lagos State, governor of Central Bank, Aliko Dangote, Jimovia, my Oba Tudeko himself in person, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The first thing I'm going to point out is that when we are going into these groups, I just, I, I just want to make a little comment about the limits of monetary policy because the, the CBN governors slightly tried to allude to that in the sense that we talk about a typical businessman faces when he wants to do a project, thinks about risks and return. You know, that risk return equation, you want to tilt it in the direction of making many more projects viable so you have a lot more investment. So there's a serious problem when there are some risks that nobody's touching, which are making projects costly and so on. And they cannot be touched necessarily by monetary policy. You can touch some of those risks with monetary policy, but it's a big mistake to try and touch, to fight every problem with money. Because some problems, you fight them with money, you worsen them and you compound the problem. So the next thing I'm going to point out is the governor mentioned that we brought inflation from 18% down to 11% and so on. But you know, it's funny because I gave an interview the other day and said, CPN governors in Nigeria are very good at bringing down inflation when it gets to a level that is politically unacceptable, like 18, 19. When it gets near 10%, they get tired. <laughs> and the thing now stays at 11%, 10% endlessly. There's no need for that. The same methods that brought it down to 18 from the 11 can bring it down to five. <laughs> now, now, but it's true. Listen, there are some things in economics like bringing down inflation. Every, every, every student can write an essay and pass it. We've seen Brazil bring it down from this figure to 5% and so on. We can do the same. So why aren't we doing it? Let me explain some of the reasons why I think it's also doubly important that we bring inflation to something like 5%. You see, when the government, governor spoke about exchange rate stability, he knows I'm in favor of that. In fact, if I may reveal a secret, when the exchange rate was 360, and I think one day he was talking and he was thinking of bringing it down to, to, to 355, I screamed and told him to hold it at the 360. Because I thought that it would be a mistake to take it on a journey that you cannot sustain. So at 360, you could have stability, which we still have. But let me also explain what will threaten that stability. So let's not kid ourselves. If you have an inflation rate that is 11% year on year, US inflation rate is 2%. Every year you don't adjust, it's a 9% differential. The solution is not to devalue, but to bring down the inflation rate. You follow me? That's where the solution is. So there's no debate. Who's against managed float? Definitely not me. What some of us were against were multiple exchange rates, which you don't understand. <laughs> you follow me? <laughs> you follow me? So the, effectively, in your, second in your second tenure, Mr. Governor, I think we have to find a way to clear up these last vestiges of confusion <laughs> caused, caused by multiple exchange rates. The other thing I want to point out as well is that, you know, it echoed in this room. Look, Aliko and I go back a long way. He's done phenomenally well. About two decades, done phenomenally well. Jim, Mike Adenuga and co. Let me tell you what they all have in common. They are all very combative personalities. <laughs> because of that, no regulator will go to them and try nonsense. Because most of them know how to deal with that regulator. We have to move beyond that making Nigeria an economy only for the few people who are very combative. Some of us too are combative enough, so people, people know us in regulation. <laughs> now let me continue, because those we are destroying are the 22-year-old entrepreneurs, the 25-year-old entrepreneurs. This economy is rigged against the youth, and it's not going to grow. When Aliko and I were 30, we were allowed to grow. Today, we're killing the youth from growing. So it's not going to grow. That's the point I'm making. And the reason, the things we have to correct, 